builder that will help any merchant reach a crowd of untapped consumer potential by following a few easy steps. Build your own app through our interactive app platform. Customize it. Bring the culture of your business on screen. Talk to your customers and make sure your products or services get the attention they deserve. Create the app, control the design, and build a loyal customer base. Use your sales. Grow your business at your own pace. Available soon in the One Life Network. One Life. Together for more. Wow! 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 I mean, this is the solution for all of us to go to make a really stable coin. Because with this app solution, we can go in the market as fast and as heavy as never before. The word to you, Stefan. When, when it comes to complicate uh, explaining, we, we always give the word to Stefan, okay? Okay. I have a question for you. What do you think is the best that we can contribute in order to increase the value of the coin and also to increase the usability of the coin? What do you think? Merchants. 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 Exactly. And this is exactly what we are going to target with the new applications. We are going to target small and medium businesses because as you know the big ones they already have their applications but almost none of the small and none of the medium businesses they have their applications so what we are going to do is we are and if I say we I mean all of us every member will have the opportunity and the possibility to sell applications all around the world and we will build thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, what Sebastian said, one million, million of, of merchants. merchants. In a very short time, ladies and gentlemen, because there is no way around to go into the app market. The era of the website is over. Ha Let me ask you, how often do you check your email a day? And how often are you in one of the applications? Facebook, Twitter, Line or WhatsApp? You, you, you know what I mean? The application is calling you every day, every minute, every second. Push. It, it's a push notification. The, and, and with this tool, what we have now in the company, we were creating this, we were building this now one year. And now it's ready to be launched. We have the strongest sales force in the world, ladies and gentlemen. You are part, we are part of the strongest sales force in the world in network marketing history. And with this tool, we can go to every flower shop to every dentist, to every restaurant, to everybody who wants his business growing. And create an international network, an international pool of thousands and hundreds of uh, The app on the, the wall, people can download it. My clients, existing clients, can download for free from uh, Apple and Google uh, the application, right? So what happened? Imagine Saturday night at 7 and the restaurant empty. <coughs> and I say, man, where are the clients? So how normally today a, a restaurant is working if they have no relationship, no contact to their clients, right? They cannot send an email. Who reads Saturday night at 7 an email? But what happens if now I say, hey, let me, do let me do this. Let me do happy hour from 8 to 9. And I send a push notification to all the clients what I have. I'm sure at 8 the restaurant is full because it's happy hour. So I build a relationship with my clients. And I am the application and uh, this is the best. My restaurant of course will accept, once we can, the one coin as payment system. So I go to eat something, I don't pay with cash, I pay with my one coins, right? This is what I will do. And imagine, and imagine this. Imagine this, wherever, wherever in the world, in Japan or in, in, in South America, I go, example, to Lima, in Peru, okay? I was often there. And I look to the app, what we have, and I'm looking who accepts cryptocurrency of one coin in Lima. And if I see restaurants in uh, Peru, in Lima, they accept the cryptocurrency, where I go to eat? Of course, I go to eat in this restaurant who accept the cryptocurrency, right? So this is the best what you can do, your friends, your flower shop, everybody, we can go around with the cryptocurrency around the world now.
let me speak a bit more about the features of the applications. Christian already mentioned a few of them and I want to mention some more. Um, imagine you are a car dealer and uh, you get a very nice new Lamborghini in on stock and uh, how you approach your clients, how you approach your clients that comes around, you cannot approach them easily but the moment they come to you, they can download your app for free. And the moment you get the car, you can send them all out. Wow, look at this. We have a very nice Lamborghini for 200,000 euros now here for sale. Come pass by and have a look at it. You can inform the people much more than with anything else. Yes, it's the fastest and efficient, most efficient way to com of communication and application. So, what does it mean? We have now, I'll give you an example. We are, we are over two million people, two million networkers or two million distributors. Let's, let's do an easy calculation. Let's say only, only 10% of those two million people get it. 200,000 people go and start to promote application because it's uh, it's a must because Stefan and Christian will tell you later what big advantage every restaurant or dentist or whatever shop has with this application. But let's do the mathematics first. 200,000 people go and promote this because it's easy. Everybody promotes two or three applications. 200,000 times three is 600,000. This means we could have, in a very short period of time, 600,000 merchants. This means the goal with one million, Dr. Usha, this is a small goal. Next this week. is a very small goal. We can beat a record what nobody did, and everything will be connected to the cryptocurrency one coin. This is amazing. The entire pool of application built under this developer account will have very beautiful features like all of you know the push notifications that we already spoke about. There are others, for example, you can read QR and barcodes. There is another one, the geolocation. If you are in a city, you want to have a restaurant, you want to go to a restaurant where you can pay with one coins. You you write tak 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 restaurant and it shows you the, the way from where you are towards the restaurant. You understand this? Or and the this, hairdresser or whatever. Everywhere around the world because this big pool of applications, they are built from all of us, from all the entire network and we can use it in future. But there is one more point. I give you an, a, another number, okay? Because it's not only 600,000 merchants. This 600,000 merchants has clients. Let's calculate that each of them has 100 clients who download the application. That means that we have 600,000 plus two zeros, six million, 60 million people directly or indirectly connected with one coin. This is amazing. We can have now millions Soon hundreds of millions of people, they see or read something about one coin because they download an application of their favorite restaurant. This is amazing. And, and the big advantage also, it, it's hard or easy to sell an application. In my opinion, it's very easy because I can go to a, whatever shop, to a flower shop, and I can say, now we are two million active distributors, we have a database of 10 million people. So, by the moment you download this application of our company, if one of our 10 million or 12 million people comes 500 meter close to your store, they get whoop. What is this flower shop on the corner? So every shop or every restaurant or every bar or every disco, everybody wants this because they want more clients and they have access to our big community of clients and they will, yes, they will take this, uh, this uh, application. And this way it will go ape. It will go ape. There are so many things to say, but unfortunately we run already out of time. We do not even have the time to follow the presentations because we could continue speaking about this for another hour. Okay. Money. Let, let's talk, speak about money because this is, we all, we all will make a lot of money with this, okay? I almost forgot it, but thanks to Dr. Rusha, we got yesterday um, a very good uh, promise that all what will be calculated uh, all the turnover, what we will do with this new product, 
is in the same tree, but it does, it, it, uh, we, we can go for another max out, same as in Coin Vegas. So this means all the max out, we can double the max out again with this product. This and, and it will come in the next couple of weeks. We have it 99% ready. In the next couple of weeks, it will be launched. Good. Okay. The last thing what we want to ask, because you understood what is our goal, our short-term goal, right? What we said, Sebastian already has spoken about it. What is our goal? One million. Kari, wonderful. Our goal is one million merchants. And I want to repeat it, because if we repeat it many times, then it will happen in the future. Let's Come repeat on, it again. One, one million merchants. One million merchants! One million merchants! Thank you very Thank much! You. Thank you, Dr. Rosa! Are you so excited that you're falling asleep or what's wrong with you? I want to hear, did you, did you understand what we're doing here? You know, we are building up, we are building up a huge, huge, huge database for our merchants. When we start to use our coin, what we have to do? We talk to the people, we have 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, maybe 5 million places around the world where we can use our coins. Do you see what is a step behind? That's for to reach our goals to be the strongest cryptocurrency on this market, the biggest and the strongest. And this is something really where we're working on it for a long, long time and giving you an opportunity to build up one more business line, one more extra income, one more extra max out, and of course, one million more opportunities where you can spend your coins. So I'm really fantastic, excited about this, what is coming up, about this news. You see what is coming up today? Every couple of minutes, something new and something special. And that's why I love this company. Everything what we do is special. Nothing what we do, it's normal. Everything what we do is outstanding. The goals, the limits, everything what we're doing, the records what we're breaking, that is one coin. And this is thanks everyone to you guys. You make this possible. Two million members around the world creating the strongest and biggest cryptocurrency and the strongest and biggest network. Thank you to wow. all of you. Thank you to all of you. You made it. Just thinking about this one gives me goosebumps, guys. Thank you to everyone. Yes, thank you. In February this year, our amazing CEO and founder, Dr. Usha, was uh, interviewed um, at the cover of the Financial IT Magazine. And we are really thankful because we have the... Um, the Publisher the, the of this publisher, magazine you, here you, with us. It's so great to have you. By the the first magazine yeah. who really start to understand yeah. what is cryptocurrency. The first IT magazine would really understand what is blockchain, what we can reach, and what is behind. And we are so happy and we are so thankful. This guy had time. He had a totally full schedule, but he made it an opportunity because he said you want to be yeah. with the biggest and fastest growing coin. And the biggest and fastest growing coin is who? Hey guys, for this... One coin. Hey guys, you can do it better. The biggest and fastest growing coin is what? Yes, and now again, the biggest and fastest growing coin is... And now yes. please, come on stage. Yes, give a warm applause for Chris Prince. Thank you. Sebastian, 
president of all of OneCoin for inviting me to spend some time with you. Thank you. My name is Chris Principe. I'm the publisher of Financial IT Magazine. We've been covering cryptocurrencies and blockchain for over a year. We're one of the early leaders in this coverage. And today I'm here and I'm pleased to talk to you about the value chain revolution and all of you are part of it. But before I get into this, I want to just tell you an interesting statistic. <coughs> Last year, 2015, Interpol found that people robbing banks has gone down by 37%. It's good news. The bad news is there's been a 100% increase in banks robbing people. <laughs> So let's get started. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing that I think about, and I've spent my whole career in the financial services market, is what kind of innovation can I think about, look into, learn about, do, that can increase the natural wealth of people? Now most of my breakfast partners don't have the same thought, but that's how I start the day out. And it means having to think a little bit different. It means your mechanics in your mind need to work a little bit differently. You need to have more of a global view. You have to think of the world, not just ourselves, not just our locality, but how do we interact with the world? You need to see the future. Where are we going? And by the way, that's me at a younger age on the Chinese Great Wall. Maybe? <laughs> we need to take some risk. Make that leap of faith. But I'm not talking about risks that we don't understand. I'm not talking about risks that we can't manage. I'm not talking about risks that we, we are going to lose our, our house and our wealth and our families on. I'm talking about manageable risks that will help increase our futures. This is danger. That's a risk. <laughs> So when we talk about innovation, Wikipedia says it means doing something new, but I actually like Dr. Sanjay's definition, which is innovation produces this statue, the spirit of innovation. Did anybody in this room tell me where this statue is? Any guesses? In my house. I'll give you a little hint. Where I live is in South Florida. Didn't help? Not my end. Walt Disney World. Well, hey, Walt Disney was an innovator. Walt Disney World is an innovation place. Okay, so what's coming in the future? We need to think about that today. We need to make and take actions today. Not like my friend here on the screen. Everybody in this room Everybody in OneCoin are pioneers. Pioneers of a new financial future. Can you give all of yourselves a one big applause? Because you are the people that are going to drive the future, just like these pioneers of old did. You're going to break through. You've already broken through. Look at the numbers we've heard so far today. It's pretty amazing. It's time now. It's time to take action. It's time to move ahead. It's time to start telling the banks and the governments what it is we want to do. Do we know what we want to do? We want to get out of that, the waters that's infested with the banks and the governments. And we want to jump out and find a new future. We want to shout to them and tell those banks and the government what it is that's important to us. Do we know what's important to us? That's right. Set my money free. And this is where the problem is today. So you could load up all your money and take it to the bank. I, I don't know. That might be Jewish truck. I don't know. 
Or you can try another solution. That might be Sebastian, right? It's, it's a good solution. It's not comfortable though, is it? No. But, but at one coin, we don't sleep, Sebastian. You said so. He never sleeps there. Okay. <laughs> Cryptocurrency, that's where it is. The movement of the cryptocurrency market has been amazing. It's transforming the world. It will continue to transform it in a way that surpasses what we've seen with the internet. And the internet took too long to get where it is today. Cryptocurrency is getting there in a fraction of the time. Number one! Oh yeah! Hey, it's so hot right now, right? Okay! Cryptocurrency! We need to look at things a little bit differently now. Now we know what the goal is. Cryptocurrency is the way to set our money free. We are the barbarians at the gate. The establishment right now is scared. We're tired of them controlling it. So what are we talking about when we talk about the cryptocurrency value chain? Well, there's a lot that we can talk about. I've got four things here. There's many more. It's a conversation I would love to have with each and every one of you in this room because I've got a lot to say about it and a lot of opinions. I get, and I'm very fortunate to speak to a lot of people in this industry. But the four main benefits are the unbanked. It's a tremendous problem. Sending your money where you want to send it. Preserving your money. Being able to actually hold on to the wealth that you earn with your hard day's work and the sweat that goes into it. And being able to buy and sell what you need, what you want, when you want it through global trade. There's many more, but for me, these are the four keys. So, Actually, these sliders were supposed to move when I'm ready, and they didn't. But we have, for, for the unbanked, there's the unbanked, there's the underserved. Okay, unbanked we know. Those are the people that can't get bank accounts or that have no access to bank accounts. Underserved are people with bank accounts that don't get the services they need. The unbankable, right? These are people the banks don't even want to deal with. And then you have the people that are mildly banked, which are the people that, you know, the banks kind of give the account too, but they're not really interested. And it's such an important topic, there was a movie in 2009, Banking the Unbanked. And there's a formula, the unbanked curve. So people have put a lot of time and effort really simple. It's about sending money to your loved ones. It's about being able to build a future because you have a son or daughter that's going to a different country for school. It's about growing your small business and being able to buy and sell in different places. It's helping your family improve. It's the poor paying the poor. And today, when you do that, when you try to send money, you get taxed. You pay more to send $100 by percentage than a big corporation sending $100 million. It's not fair. It's a tax on the poor. It's a tax on every one of us. Do I need to say who's taxing us? Okay, wealth preservation, okay? So yes, we wanna preserve our money, but what are the things that are working against us? Well, to me, banks, governments, politicians are all working against us because what do they do? They devalue currencies. They put currency control. You can't get hard currency in a lot of places without going through big ordeals, long waiting times. And then even then they give you a small amount. Political manipulation. 
What do I mean by that? I mean, it's politicians that start wars, right? It's politicians that start arguments with other countries. It's politicians that split the world up instead of bringing us together. Unequal tax regimes. You know, how come if you live in one country, so much more of your wealth goes and you live in another country and you pay a lot, a lot lower rate? And more importantly, as we saw, if you follow the news, the Panama Papers, how is it when we're wealthy, we don't have to pay any taxes? Fair? Hmm. Corruption. <laughs> I'm not even going to go into that one. Inflation and deflation. Who does that to us? Governments and politicians. Negative interest rates. This is, this is one that we've seen the last few years. So let me understand this. I'm going to put my money in your bank, and you're going to charge me to put my money in your bank, and then you're going to use my money to make money. That's fair. Right? I go to a lot of banking conferences, and they all say, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's just how it works. So these are, are the things to, that we have to watch for, and these are the kind of guys we have to watch out for. Anybody vote for them? Well, you might have, you just didn't know it until you see these pictures, right? So just to give you one example, one coin's very strong in China, but what's happened in China? Well, in August of last year, we had a devaluation. That means everybody went to sleep at night with X number of dollars, X amount of value, and when they woke up the next morning, what did they find? <laughs> All of a sudden, we have less than what we had the night before. Is that fair? Who does that? <laughs> Governments, politicians, and banks. We had a similar incident just in May, where again, there was a small de devaluation. And this doesn't just happen in China, this happens in all countries, and by the way, it's worse in a lot of countries. So that's the thing that scares me. When is it going to happen next? Where is it going to happen next? Is it going to happen in your country? Is it going to be your currency? You want to keep your money in your bank? When you wake up in the morning, it's a sinking feeling. When all of a sudden you look on your bank statement and you find you're not worth as much as you worked for. That your bucket of sweat just got dumped out. So come to global trade. This is the buying and selling of goods and services and ease of settlement for buying goods and services. Being able to do that and cross borders and, and not have to worry about fraud. As we heard that there's a big push on security and some very impressive offer of a competition from OneCoin. Right? It's the inaccessibility of certain markets and restrictions on what you can buy or sell. And who does that? Well, it's governments. It's the banks. You want to make a cross-border payment? Oh, well, there's a payment fee, there's FX charges, there's, I don't know, the bank in the middle charges, right? You want to buy some things in certain countries and, oh no, we have an embargo on that country and, well, I don't know, I personally don't have fight with, or I'm battling with anybody, any country or nationality. Oh, but if my government has, well then I can't do business, I can't, buy what I want and get the items that I need. Sound fair to you? This is why global trade is important. And all I want to do is point out to the number in the middle because in 10 years from now, the global economy is going to be worth $166 trillion. That's trillion with a capital T. There is a huge potential for a cryptocurrency to be a trade currency. A cryptocurrency that's done right, that's done with visibility, with compliance, that's done so it can cross borders, that's done so they, it's easy for somebody to be able to buy and sell things. Today, in global trade, the US dollar is 80% of all the buying and selling that's done globally. That's way too high. But 
That provides an opportunity. And it provides an opportunity for everybody in this room. Because when you own a cryptocurrency, and you have merchants that accept that cryptocurrency, now you can buy and sell without bank charges, without FX fees, without being told that country's okay or that product's not okay. That's the potential of global trade, and that's the potential for cryptocurrency. So quick quiz. Everybody ready for a quiz? Yeah? Let's see. Can anybody tell me what's the largest animal in the world? And the answer is not a bat, okay? But what's the largest animal in the world? Next to... Yes, it's the whale. <laughs> and this is one of the things that we have to understand. I'm going to use nature to explain it to you. You see, whales, as big as they are, live, thrive, and survive on one of the smallest animals in the world, which is plankton. Okay? So let me bring that analogy home, is that all of us in this room are plankton. The governments and the banks are the whales. What we don't realize is they need us to survive. Without us, they die. Now, they don't want that secret out. But what if we were to get together on our own and form a huge colony of plankton and support that with a financial system that doesn't depend on the whale? That's where the direction is. So there's going to be a convergence between the old money system and the new cryptocurrencies and digital systems. I'm betting on cryptocurrencies. I don't know about anybody else in this room, but that's my bet. <laughs> Who in this room wants to be part of the in crowd? Who wants to be leaders? And of course, in your own businesses here in OneCoin, everybody should be a leader and everybody should strive to be a leader. But we're talking beyond that. We're talking about a global leader. We're talking about everybody here being examples for everybody else in the world. Everybody to be examples for those people that can't stand up for themselves. So let's be part of that in crowd. Let's bring other people into that in crowd. Let's spread that message across this globe. Do we want to be part of the Internet of Things? Do we want to be connected to everything that's going on? Do we want to be on the cutting edge of technology? Cryptocurrencies. That's what's going to power a lot of this. Cryptocurrencies. Underlined by the technology of blockchain. But there's so little time. What are you doing with your time? What are you thinking about? What are you waiting for? This is an interesting scale. It's called the cost of inaction. Some of you might have felt this already. Some of you might have had a friend come to you and say, hey, you know, I should help you be part of OneCoin, as an example. I should help you be involved in cryptocurrency. And you might have said at that time, I don't understand it. I don't know if I have the money for that. I don't know if I have the time. But did you think of what's the cost of an action? And then what happened? A month went by and all of a sudden you saw your friend with a brand new car, right? How many people have, have been able to buy brand new cars? Cost of an action. And that cost of an action only helps guys like this. That's who you're really helping when you hesitate on getting involved with the future economy of the world. This is where you all want to be. It's kind of a nirvana state, you know, we've got the financial thing is taken care of, we can buy and sell what we want, we can get all the nice things that we want, we can think now of things that really are important. Helping our families, helping our friends, helping our countries. <coughs> 
So when somebody asks you, or when you ask somebody to take a look at cryptocurrencies, to get involved in cryptocurrencies, to find that as the new medium of financial exchange and value, remember the turtle. He only sticks his neck out when he makes progress, right? Let's all be part of progress. So I'm gonna leave you with a quote from one of my favorite, maybe people have heard of the immortal Bruce Lee. And his famous quote is, be like water, my friend. So when you have some difficulty in your life, and everybody does from time to time, we hope for this group less than, than the other people, but when you have difficulty, you find your way around the problem so you can move on and move on quickly. And that's what cryptocurrencies will do for you. So I'm gonna close with be like water, my friends, and give you just a quick little view and advertisement for financial IT. I would be really pleased and encourage and invite all of you to go to our website, financialit.net, and sign up for our newsletter and look for some of our information that we're going to be coming out in the future. Okay, but that's not all. I'm going to finish with giving you just a little secret, is that we've got coming up very soon a new issue, which will have some of the best writers in the financial industry contributing about blockchain, but more importantly about cryptocurrency, and we're gonna run a special feature on your leaders here. We're gonna find out what they think, what they see in the future, and spread that around the financial community in a way they've never seen before. Thank you very much, have a good day, have a good night.
today but this is only the beginning remember we're here for a reason a reason now obviously why I am back on stage is because I'm presenting the next speaker now this speaker is the reason why we're all here this is the masterpiece of this event, actually of every single day. This is the creator, the mastermind, the founder of cryptocurrency, of OneCoin. Now, I would like for all of us, even if you are up or to the right or to the left, Let's try this with a big audience. Let's all of us stand up. Like all of us. All of us stand up. You over there to the left stand up. You on the right stand up. Now, this will be the biggest welcoming on stage that we've ever done in history. Okay, so you help me to do this. We start now. We clap our hands when I say one, two, three. Okay? Let's give a warm applause for our creator, our founder, our lovely Dr. Ruja, my sister, these days. One, two, three. Applause, please. Ruja, Ruja. Thank 
here. It is really a pleasure for me to be here one and a half years after we launched our cryptocurrency OneCoin. I think today we spoke a lot about the network, the vision for the network, how big we want to be, but as always, I want us to remember what this network is about. This network was created to become and to fuel the growth of OneCoin, which I strongly believe will be the number one cryptocurrency worldwide. Oh, yes. And the reason why I believe it is because I see all of you here. OneCoin is easy to use, OneCoin is for everyone, make payments everywhere, everyone, globally. And this is who we are, global citizens of a small world wanting to make a change. So, in the last two years, I've been called a lot of things. And probably the best thing that the press called me was one coin who is supposed to be the Bitcoin killer. Well, I must say I like it. And uh, you all know, since we mined our first coin in January 2015, our growth exploded. Sebastian and Kari showed us the numbers. Today, over 2 million users Users means active users. Our database has easily more than 12 million entry points. But these 2 million are active users. And no other cryptocurrency has as many users as we do. Some of them are still bigger than us. Some of them are still more well known. But we are catching up. Our market capitalization today is about four and a half billion. We still have work to do to catch Bitcoin in about eight billion, but we are getting there and we're getting there very, very fast. You know that we have a very, very long mining list. Currently, new joiners wait three to six months until they mine coins. And this is something that is very frustrating for all of us. This is difficult. If we want to plug in merchants, if we want to make this coin usable, we need to mine faster. We need more coins, we need to grow. Now I want to show you one more thing. This is one coin currently being number two. Bitcoin, eight million market capitalization, over 500 euro per coin. To mine one Bitcoin today, it can take you up to one year. One year for one coin. Wow. This is not a mass market cryptocurrency. The other ones, if you look at their market capitalization, one billion and the next one, 200 million. I think we hit 200 million market capitalization two months when we were in the market mining coins. So, when we go out, when we speak about cryptocurrency, what makes us different? What makes us different from Bitcoin, but what makes us different from all the Mickey Mouse coins out there who copy our concept? Now I'll tell you what makes us different. I believe what makes us different is our vision. We are more than just one coin. We create the world around this coin. And this is what our network does. Not only mining the coin, but creating a whole ecosystem. And the new website is on. Whoever goes on onecoin.eu will find a lot of information about our coin and about our vision. And this is something we have been working on a lot and a long, long time. This is the circle of success, or the wheel of fortune, or however you want to call it, but this is OneCoin's world. 
And yes, our coin is in the middle of this circle, but it is a whole ecosystem. It is a life, it's a network. It is a lot of things. And I do not believe that any other cryptocurrency competitor, whatever we call them, has such a view on the future and what's coming up. So one coin for me always starts with education. You see the new launch website, the One Academy. And why is education so important for us? Some of you have children, I guess. So at one point of time, these children want to drive a car. Will you let your child drive a car without a driver's license? Without knowing the rules, without knowing what a car is? Yes. I would not. So this is why I see the One Academy, which is the only way how you can mine coins, by the way, as a kind of driver's license for cryptocurrency. Do not mine cryptocurrency. Do not trade cryptocurrency without education. Because it is one of the riskiest investment classes out there and you have to know what to do. And we are the only company who provides to all their members important information on what cryptocurrency is. We bring cryptocurrency to everyone. And this is why this is the first and the most important part of this wheel. The second one, and it will become more and more important, is our exchange. The one exchange today, you know, has some basic functions. Buy, sell, watch the price. But we all understand that this is just the beginning. This exchange one day will be switched on and be a global exchange for everyone. Today, you all learn to buy and to sell the coin. We learn how to do basic operations. Many of you have never traded before, have never used an exchange before. So this is our chance now to learn how to do it. And this exchange, I'm sure in two years, will be the one with most cryptocurrency transactions globally because this coin is going to be number one worldwide. The community is our network. Their network, a network. And this community is actually what makes us so strong. I always make the example with Facebook. All of us here, or most of us, are part of OneCoin. A lot of us got so excited about cryptocurrency and this concept, they brought friends. A lot of you will bring even business partners or merchants. So this means you become part of a community or of a family. Now I can go and I can launch a new portal like Facebook, more beautiful, more functions, better chats, God knows what. But still, you will not leave your friends on Facebook to be alone somewhere else in a more beautiful environment. This is what makes us strong. The community, two million people who are strong for this coin and who want to build their success. And this is something that nobody can do so fast as we did. So they are saying the next five years will be the year of cryptocurrency. A boom will start. A lot of new cryptocurrency will start to be done. They say Microsoft will launch a cryptocurrency. Google will launch a cryptocurrency. But all these people need to start where we started two years ago. Educate people, build their network, attract merchants. And this, as we all know, is a process. And we are two years ahead of them. This no one can take from us. On the merchants, I believe that the merchants will Bitcoin currently has almost no merchants taking it. And there are reasons for this. If I want to do a Bitcoin transaction, 
I have to wait 10 minutes until the transaction is approved. Now imagine me and Aaron in the flower shop that he made an example. Aaron, do you want to wait 10 minutes until you can buy some flowers? I forgot after two minutes where I want to go. I cannot wait 10 minutes. So this is something that is difficult about Bitcoin. The second thing that is difficult, you know the fluctuation. Today a Bitcoin is 500 euro. Tomorrow, if I'm lucky, an emergent 550. Yesterday, 400. Again, the day after tomorrow, maybe 300. Who knows? Merchants do not want to take a risk that whatever money they receive today is worth less tomorrow. Very, very important. One important part of our vision for the coin next to the merchant is global payments. Now, global payments means individuals, of course, making payments to each other. If I work in Singapore, my family in India, I want to send money to my family. I want to do it fast. I don't want to have a limit on this payment. But also, if I'm a very small, let's say, IT company in the UK, and I want to sell my services to China or to India or to some other market, Russia, it's very difficult for me as a small business to make sure I receive payments from many of my clients. How do I do this? What do I do? How can I get my money out of China? How can I target a market like this? Well, guess what? We are a global currency. We have clearance in China, in Europe, in India, in Latin America, worldwide. This is why I believe that a global cryptocurrency can be a successful one and not a regional cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency for Europe only, in my opinion, would fail. But a global cryptocurrency has a huge future ahead. Now, there's almost no real investment products on cryptocurrency. Bitcoin on a forex, non-liquid, non-existent. We want to provide long term and bring one coin to the financial community. We want to provide proper forex. This means you can trade one coin with every of your local currency, be it dollar, be it euro, Thai baht, RMB, all of these currencies. This is a part of our plan and this will come most probably next year. But we will bring one coin to the level of financial services in a very, very high class. Another thing that we want to do is we want to let our members create an investment fund with their coins. Invest your coin in real assets if you wish to do so. We will offer an investment fund until year end where you can participate with your coins and participate also in other classes. The One World Foundation, a charity which is very dear to my heart, yesterday I think we raised over 70,000 euro for it. I think you know. A lot of you have been donating to this charity. Thank you very much. A lot of you are supporting this charity. I think this is one of the greatest things that you guys do. And uh, yes, OneCoin has changed a lot of lives here but you also have been changing the lives of a lot of children. And what is even the best that I see is that some of the members do things on their own and support children, hospitals, and do a lot of good things. And I'm so proud to see that these people who make a lot of money with OneCoin give back to the community. And I really, really thank you all for this. the coin cloud challenge, cryptocurrency and the internet are always facing security issues. So security and safety for us is very important, you know this. So the coin cloud is a part of our universe to make your life and your, let's say, online behavior more safe and secure. So business application, business solutions, definitely around one coin are very important for us. And games and entertainment, a lot of things today happen in the world of entertainment and we will expand there too and make OneCoin also a cryptocurrency that can be used for fun, for games and for other good things. 
Taking a step back, I believe that OneCoin is really the only cryptocurrency out there thinking in a global and holistic way about how to make the coin usable out there. I don't know any cryptocurrency doing this. And we achieved a lot in the last year, but there's a long way to go, guys. We are one year old. When Bitcoin was one year old, their price was 15 cents. Nobody cared about Bitcoin. Oh, I lost 100 coins, what is it? Oh, I don't care. 15 euro, gone. We are one year old and we already wrote history. But this is just the beginning. In two years, we should be 10 million users, active users, 1 million merchants, and I believe that the merchants really will make this currency huge. 10 million users, 1 million merchants. This is the next milestone that we are chasing here. We have been growing very, very fast. Sometimes people even come to me and say, but Dr. Ruja, did I miss the opportunity? Is it over? What do we do now? And the answer is, actually, this is just the beginning. Because Kari and Sebastian showed us this beautiful map. We are very red in China. I guess everybody here knows how big China is. So let me be very frank with you. We are not big in China. We can be much bigger in China. Everybody needs to know one coin's name in China and globally. We are currently here. It can go up, 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 much higher. This is where Bitcoin was after one year. And imagine where they are now. The sky really is the limit for us. So much potential. Every day, new network join us. Today, we integrate, you will see the press release, another network joining us. A lot of people come to us and just want to join the network because it's a successful network, because we keep our promises. But also a lot of networks just want to join us because we have a killer product. How many products out there are so good and so easy to bring to the people like ours? Not many. So also one thing that I see about OneCoin is that a lot of people who never have been in this industry join us. They just get excited about innovation. Instead of doing a Facebook IPO, they decide to do a one coin, join their financial revolution, be part of innovation, be one of the first adopters. This is why we capture a lot of people that other companies do not, because we have a vision because we show people a part of the future. And the third thing, as I said, <coughs> India, Africa, Latin America, yes, we have people working there, but we have not even started work there. And this market, I personally support with banking, with company solutions, translations of the education will come. These markets are extremely important for us because the unbanked are there, our customers. So, this is just the beginning. When I started, people were laughing at me. I always said, we want to be top three cryptocurrency out there. I never said number three, by the way, I just said top three. But now I think it's time, do or do not. We want to be the number one cryptocurrency out there. The biggest reserve cryptocurrency, the choice of the people, the most usable cryptocurrency, and of course with the biggest market capitalization. When the guys showed you today the market capitalization, we had a big, big Bitcoin, a bit smaller one coin, and the other coins were non-existent. I could not even see the line. Eh? 
Litecoin with 200 million. 200 million, I think, yeah, okay, let's not discuss this, but this is how I want us to be. I want Bitcoin to be the invisible line one day. One coin to be the market leader. We have a new website for a reason. I want everybody to understand even better what is special about OneCoin and where we want to go. First of all, we are global cryptocurrency. We are not a local coin. I am not a coin which is just focused on Asia or just on Europe or just on I don't know which country. We are in 195 uh, countries and we want to provide low cost transactions for everyone, everywhere. Good we are transparent. <laughs> I did not hear this, but good it sounded boy. good. <laughs> Bigger than Western Union, thank you, I like this very much. Yes, thank you. We want to be transparent. You know, I have been accused by the so-called community of cryptocurrency. She is violating the philosophy of cryptocurrency. Sounds very spectacular and violating the philosophy. So what is the philosophy of cryptocurrency? <laughs> cryptocurrency has to be anonymous. To be very honest with you, I don't think so. Because no regulator, no government will let us create a global cryptocurrency system, a payment system, being anonymous. The Paris thing, all these bad things happening, payments are made with Bitcoin. And I believe that people who need to do anonymous payments <laughs> and things like this do not belong in our network. They can go somewhere else. And to everybody who tells me that I violate the philosophy of cryptocurrency, guys, we are a bigger community. We decide what the philosophy of cryptocurrency is. easy and safe to use, very, very important to be easy to use. If I want to use Bitcoin, you guys ask me, can we take Bitcoins for the packages? Oh, yeah. I don't want Bitcoins, but okay, fine, we can. You know, it took accounting three days to download the blockchain of Bitcoin. I don't know how many gigabytes and they hated me all. One coin is much easier to use. Easy, safe, push a button, get the application, start. And everybody speaks about the blockchain. Goldman Sachs experiments with the blockchain. I don't know which bank wants to build on the blockchain. A lot of people get excited about this technology. And I want to tell you one thing about the OneCoin blockchain or the Bitcoin blockchain. Bitcoin can never be the cryptocurrency for the merchants. Not only because it takes 10 minutes to get there, no. The Bitcoin blockchain can do only as many transactions as Visa and MasterCard do per year, uh, per day. So a day of MasterCard is a year of Bitcoin. How will this work? How will this work? It's not possible. So our blockchain can do more transactions actually than Visa and MasterCard together per day. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a vision that really excites me. This is something that I want to do. I want to be the biggest cryptocurrency out there, a payment system, transform lives of unbanked people, small businesses, big businesses, and just really grow huge. We love you! <laughs> Thank you. But, but, the question is, can we do it as we are right now? Oh, yeah! <laughs> no, we cannot. And I'll tell you how. Don't worry, don't worry. There's a solution for everything. No, but we have currently several issues that you all know. 
So we have a waiting list, as I say, for the mining of three to six months. Our packages are extremely popular. We have so many people joining us and all these new networks that come in. Just OPN brought so many people to us. Our sales are going very, very well. This project is so successful, we never thought this. Yesterday I was sitting with Yuha, with Pear and with Sebastian, and we were saying, guys, would you have believed this two years ago? This opportunity, this coin, has been going through the roof like crazy. You all have packages, or whoever has packages, and a lot of you even have splits coming up. So, the coins that we create are already assigned to some of you. I have no coins for the merchants. I love the application that we have now, but what should I give the merchants? How will they work with us? A lot of coins also are locked up in the coin safe, which is all clear. But we have no coins left anymore for the merchants. We have no coins left more for Latin America and India. And I have no coins to start using things. Some of you sell today, but not always. Some of you buy today. The market is not an ideal market. And the merchants, as you heard Chris speaking, the trade, it's a trillion euro market. And I have a capitalization of four billion. It does not work. It simply does not work. So what can we do? Thank you. So there are two things that we could do, actually three things. One is we could close for new registrations and just focus on our coin. But all of you have been working very hard on building a business. The second option is we could reject the merchants until we have more coins mined. All of this is not an option for a so fast growing company like ours with a vision like ours. So there's a third option. And the third option is to increase the number of our coins. Create more coins for the merchants and create a bigger coin than anyone. Currently, the biggest market capitalization is held by Bitcoin. 21 million coins, and this is why their coins are so expensive. The biggest cryptocurrency, however, is Ripple Coin with 100 billion, and we will launch a new more powerful blockchain than before. So, but what does this mean for all of you? You have coins, you have done so much. Oh my God, is my coin worth more now? Is it worth less? What happens? First of all, what we will do is with more coins, we can drive the expansion in the new markets. We will have, I can guarantee you that the wait list for mining the coin will be three days to one week only, not more. We will run the blockchain every minute, every minute and not every 10 minutes. So if I go to the flower shop, I wait a minute and not 10 minutes like with Bitcoin. We will become the coin for the merchants because nobody else has such a coin like ours. And switching on the new blockchain will also allow us to attract people from outside. Going public, we have said we will go completely public in two years. Float the coin to the market, buy, sell, ideal market. But there are many people who do not want to join a network marketing company and still want one coin. This new blockchain will allow us a stepwise approach for some people who would like to buy one coins from you. So it will not be a complete going public, but in slow steps. And you know, we never do everything in one big step. We do it slow so that the market understands. We will start end of this year bringing the coin to the public. Because guys, the merchants are the public, right? <laughs> so now there are more coins. Is my coin now less valuable, more valuable? What happened? Remember this chart here. 
The value of a coin comes by two things. One is the brand, and the second one is the usability. Now, if we have more coins, we can expand our brand much faster and much better. More people will know about one coin, and this will strengthen the brand. So on this side, your coin will become for sure more valuable. And the second thing is the usability. The merchant, one million merchants. Every merchant and every new member who joins us increases the usability of the coin. And out there, if we're very honest, none of the crypto coins is really usable. A choice for me as an online store, as a physical store, a restaurant or a retail will never take bitcoins because it takes too long and the price fluctuates. So this is why we will become the choice of the merchants. Whoever wants to take cryptocurrency should take one coin. And this is probably one of the most important things that your networker will take home. The new blockchain will be activated on the 1st of October, which is almost two years after we launched OneCoin or our network. We launched the network on the 27th of September 2014. So on our second anniversary almost, we will retire the old blockchain and switch on the new one. And for you, as existing members, as people who supported us through phase one, because we're moving into a huge phase two now, whatever coins you have on your account or in the mining, if you have 1,000 coins on your account and 1,000 in the mining, what we will do as a company, we will double the coins on your account. coins. The website will be switched off on the 1st of October, switched on after a few hours, and the double amount of coins will be on your account. This will happen only once. Thank you. This were the most exciting news ever. I have been preparing for this event for six months and I hope you understand the vision of this company and how powerful it is. We will be the biggest out there and we will write history and the cryptocurrency community will have to rewrite philosophy. OneCoin blockchain will go, and there's a last piece of news on this blockchain. And I believe this will create a new standard in the industry. We get criticized so much. We are a network marketing company. We're not a real cryptocurrency, or whatever I hear out there. But we will do something that nobody else does, and teach these people. We will encrypt, hide, the KYC information of the users and store it in our blockchain. We will say to the regulators that we are the most transparent, most powerful and most legal cryptocurrency out there. And nobody, nobody can compare to us. We have today the most users, we are the biggest crypto reserve currency out there and we are the most transparent one. So we will not only be the choice for the merchants, but also the choice of the regulators, the governments, and whoever is out there. In two years, nobody 
will speak about Bitcoin anymore. And I thank you very much for being here, sharing my vision, and just making this happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. have just been generated today. Now, one coin is a cryptocurrency. Am I right? One coin is a cryptocurrency. And us people, we belong to One Life Network. Okay? So One Life does what? It builds people. Now, when we build people around the world, we focus on what? Leadership. Leadership, success, education, duplication. So the next speaker, who is a dear, close brother to me, you all know him, of course. This is the guy that goes around and says Papa to everybody. But I'm telling you, this business in One Life Network, this business is help me help you. Help me help you. That is our business. Okay? So, what we're going to do now, of course, is to get a new speaker on stage who will talk about how he can help you if you help him. So let's give a massive applause to our next speaker, my dear brother, my family, Yuha Pariana. You are. Look at this guy. This guy actually helped me help you.
And thank you, Dr. Rusha, for the amazing opportunity you give us. I love you all, my family! Oh, yeah! Love you too. You know one thing? I know that some of the people don't really understand the English language 100%. So there's not going to be any misunderstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing has changed. We are still the fastest growing network in the world. One coin is our brand and one life is our network from today. Everybody who's sitting in here are strong leaders. You come in from many, many countries and you have taken the time to come here. I know that people are flying from China, Japan, US, Brazil, Mexico, all over Europe. Fantastic to meet all of you. The thing is that, did you really understand what Dr. Rusha said before? You know, the 1st of October, I doubled my value of my coins. <laughs> but what is more important, that we together started to help our people to make money. Because what is network marketing about? It's about relationships. Network marketing is about trust. Network marketing is about belief. Today, people joining OneCoin and they ask many questions of me. And I answer them. When me and Sebastian started with OneCoin 2014, we only had Dr. Rusha's vision. Some of my friends said, you're stupid. And someone says, so you're an idiot. <laughs> and they ask me, what are you going to do? I say, I'm going to do history. And every, everybody laughing at me. Do you think they laugh today? No. Nobody. But that day, Dr. Rusha told me about her vision in the company. I believed her from day number one. And from that day, I have built my business with her vision. I don't have to show people the money or whatever, or I'm good or not good. Help people. So our system, if you 